Hey guys, this is episode one of Stream of Consciousness. It's my new show where I talk about things in my consciousness that is overflowing and I need to get it out. If you like to see video essays about random topics that I think about a lot, sour food ASMR and people in pain, you should watch to the end and consider subscribing because um, this is a new series I'm making that I'm really excited about. Also by people in pain, I mean that I will also be eating warheads while trying to talk to kind of spice up the commentary a little bit. So thumbs up for that, I guess. <laughs> Today's question question of the day is, how is paparazzi legal? Which is a question that I have a lot because I, I come across videos of like the Hollywood fix and different people um, just bothering celebrities and just other human beings on the planet. And it's just really fucking weird. It's really like just ew. Like what the, why? It doesn't make any sense. Um, so we're gonna talk about it. The first question I will be answering is what is the paparazzi? I researched a lot about where it originated and who started the whole paparazzo job. Um, but before I answer that, I will Will be eating a warhead so i'll do some uh, asmr for you guys if you if you like that you fucking weirdos i just want to say i love that each warhead is individually wrapped that makes this video a lot easier okay fuck okay my mouth is already watering i'm nervous all right mm. the job of the paparazzi is to take photos of celebrities and sell them to magazines and tabloids Basically, fuck, this is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Basically, it's a paparazzi's job to bother celebrities and make them look bad. That's the entire profession. Next question is, where did paparazzi originate from? The first compromising picture taken of a celebrity for the public's gain was taken by Tazio Sacchiaroli in Rome on the night of August 14th, 1958. That night, Mr. Sacchiaroli snapped a picture of King Farouk of Egypt sitting in a cafe with two women neither of them being his wife. The former king tried to break his camera and another photographer caught the moment. He was coined as the assault photographer. Two years later, Federico Fellini coined the term paparazzo in his film La Dolce Vita in 1960. I apologize if I'm pronouncing these horribly wrong, by the way, where he had spent years shadowing scandal photographers. So he just like followed people around and film them bothering people. And finally, the photographer who practically invented the paparazzi genre was Ron Jalela. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but he stalked and hounded the Glitterati, who was a rock band from London. All the information I could find about it, it really seems like the paparazzi be became like a nationwide term in the early 2000s. So not even that long ago. I also just realized I've been talking into my mic sideways. So let's see if I've been talking really quietly this whole time. I have been. Whoopee! Okay, before the next question, I have to eat another fucking warhead. Oh, this one's broken. <laughs> Damn it. Why are they popular? Time.com's photo essay titled Why Paparazzi Are Good For Us states that more than an invasion of privacy, the paparazzi represent a challenge to the control of a celebrity's image and thus to their wealth, status, and power. Oh, <coughs> at a minimum. Paparazzi photographs poke fun at the cultural elite, allowing audiences to revel in their all-too-human flaws. Which, in my opinion, if paparazzi were actually only taking pictures of people who had done bad things, who, had, you know, the news had just come out, they wouldn't be bothering fucking 14-year-olds on TikTok. Oh god, okay, next we have black cherry. I remember how black cherry tastes, and it's fucking disgusting, so... The next question is, how is it legal? Oh, oh my god! That's the most sour one! Fuck. Hold on, I can't do this one. Due to the reputation of paparazzi as a nuisance. Oh my god. Mwah. Due to the reputation of paparazzi as a nuisance, several countries and states restrict their activities by passing laws and curfews and by staging events in which paparazzi are specifically not allowed to take photographs. But in the United States, though, celebrity news organizations are protected by the First Amendment, thus making it completely legal to somehow be able to take pictures of people without their permission and use it to harass them and make them look bad. Next question is, can you sue them? I need to drink water. That one was so nasty. It is common for celebrities to complain about and sometimes sue the paparazzi for invading their privacy by taking photos of them. On the other side of the coin though, some paparazzi are suing celebrities for copyright infringement when the subjects use the photos in which they appear without permission. This part is absolutely insane to me that they're just able to sue you because you used a picture of yourself that you didn't consent to in the first place. Next question is, how much do they get paid? Y'all better subscribe. I can already feel the fucking canker sores forming in my mouth from this. How much do they get paid? <coughs> 
I can't. I can't. I'm over it. I'm over it. I spit it out. I can't. Well, exclusive, unique shots can pay out in the range of a thousand to ten thousand dollars. Occasionally, a paparazzo gets that one shot that's so good and so exclusive, they're paid tens of thousands of dollars for the rights to use that image. I just can't believe that, like, harassment and taking pictures without their consent can be such a high-paying job. It's something that boggles my mind about America and just our world in general, is that consent doesn't fucking matter to rich people. To people who don't have empathy. Consent doesn't matter. Consent is like the purest form of life that there possibly could be. Everyone has boundaries and things that make them uncomfortable and the fact that people who just make more money than others for doing what they love like acting or singing can just have their lives tarnished. Their reputations just demolished because other people just can legally bother them. That's just so mind-boggling to me. Like there's some stuff, like some videos I'm gonna react to in the second part of this video, where these celebrities are just getting raw dogged, just suffocated by like six different cameras flashing in their face, even while they're driving, even at their own homes. Finally, the last question is, do celebrities fight back? Sometimes celebrities are pushed past their limit and they just can't take it anymore, so they snap, which in my opinion is completely justified. Some celebrities have been in actual fights with the paparazzi on more than one occasion, breaking cameras, spitting on them, and and even punching them. Not all the videos I'm gonna be reacting to today is people fighting the paparazzi, but just showing them that, hey dude, this isn't cool. This is not what you're supposed to do. So um, let's watch that. This video is called Celebrities vs. Paparazzi. It's by Who Is There. I'm gonna link all the videos that I watch in the description. You guys can go subscribe to them or give it a like or watch their videos in full, give them love too. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Hey Miley, good job on Saturday Night Live. You think Lindsay deserves to be upset over being made fun of? Miley? What the heck? Are you serious? Let me go calm down. You just hit my mom. I'm here to mom. Yeah, I'll never disrespect the camera. You just ran to my mom with your camera. Mom, that would never disrespect my mom. Don't you ever do that again. You just almost hurt my mom. Don't you ever even think about it. Slay. I actually want to go back and see in slow motion what he does. What the heck? Yeah, um, he fully just like pushes past her and moves her. They're just going to the store. She's just going to the store with her mom. Some random fucking dude is just taking pictures of them. This video is weird. This video is weird because he's in a parking garage. He's just parking his car. Have you ever felt safe in a parking garage even if nobody's in there? Absolutely not. So for the fact for them to be like just following Mr. Brand around in a parking garage taking pictures of him, that's gotta be so fucking scary. And I, let's move on. Hey, thanks. Cool. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that one was funny. You called me a cunt a you're, minute ago. No, I didn't. You didn't call me a cunt? I would never call anybody that You just word. called me a cunt. Because you're a nice guy, David, aren't you? you For a cunt. young lady, you're very disrespectful you to children. You're a nice you're guy, a David. Cunt. You're the sexiest man alive, David. And they just, like, beckon them. Just, like, bother them and, like, keep making comments when they're just defending themselves. I don't defend the use of that word. I don't know if he actually said it before the camera's rolling. There's no real proof of that besides them saying that. No, yeah, I, I don't defend that word, but I do defend, uh, them not respecting children is really fucked up. I do defend his view on that, um, because that's just weird and bad. Slap the shit out of that dude. <laughs> I don't really know what the context is. Um, that's that's what's kind of fuzzy about paparazzi is that you never know what the fucking context is. And so it could really just be anything. Like they were saying some horrible stuff or they weren't saying anything annoying and the celebrity just was tired of it, you know? So with, with paparazzi, it's really hard to have context. So I'm just gonna let the videos speak for themselves and commentate over what the action is. He just slapped him in the face without context kind of fucked up to assault somebody, even if they're invading your personal space, um, but... Like our lesbian bitch face. What up? Ah, assault, what's up? That's assault, you know? That's assault, that's assault. You hit my camera, oh my god. You're a grown ass man following this poor woman around while she's just trying to get into a fucking car. Look at how many people there are, there's like six of them in here, just following this woman. <laughs> this should not be legal. This is what I've been saying this whole time. I think about this constantly. This right here should not be legal. Hey, don't touch me. Get off the property. Get out of here, guys. 
Oh, dude, get, get out. off the property. Get out, guys. You guys are off the Respect property. Get out. Y'all trying to grab us every day. Get the out of here. Come on, guys. Guys, take off the property, get, please. Yo, get off the property. Chill. See, the context is weird with that one, too, but it looks like they're at a Nobu. I don't know if that would consider it private property or public property. So I don't know what the basis of those claims that they should not be on the property. Maybe they assigned, like, people to make sure no paparazzi came on. I Again, I don't know the context, but just fuck off. You know what I mean? Take At least take pictures from far away. If you're going to bother people, take pictures from far away. You could have taken a picture of him while he's eating his food and, and, you know, made the claim. Kanye West eats too much gluten and now he has bad gas? Put that in a, in a fucking newspaper. I'm, I'm moving on. Okay, this is the worst one. This is at Kanye West's house. Come on, how's it going? It's not going good. Y'all here trying to take money out to, to make money off us. That's how it's going. We were it's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. and you ask me how it's going. You know, I don't want you to say nothing to me. You hear what I'm saying? Respect that. That one pisses me off so bad because they're outside of his house at 4 in the morning. Four in the morning. You know what I'm doing at four in the morning? I'm watching Danny Gonzalez eating a bag of Takis with my fucking dog over there. That's what I'm doing at four in the morning. You know, if I like went outside to take my dog out because she shit on my bed and then shit on the floor and then shit on the stairs going downstairs and there's people outside my house, outside his house. <laughs> That's his house! You can't do that! And the fact that it's legal for them to do that, and the fact that it's legal for anybody to do that, pisses me off. Took an unexpected turn. What's a dream of my Can I hug you? Oh my god, a dream? How do you Hey, hey, man. Come on, man. What the hell is your problem, buddy? See, I don't know the context of that either, because he could have just been bothering him and trying to assault him by kissing him, but it also could just be, like, part of his culture. I I'm not sure what culture he originates from. You know, it's it's not up to me to decide. I am. I'm a white man. I can't just make judgments about it. No, yeah, I just don't know the context of that one. Will Smith is very comfortable with slapping people, so... <laughs> Again? Whoa, whoa! While he's standing right in front of the car. <laughs> It's like, if they accidentally run over your foot, you can just sue them for $250,000. That's that's what they want. In World War II, you know? I'm the cup right Oh, no, I was just asking you about your family history. I'm not, I'm not interested in what you're asking. Oh. Me. I'm sorry. Right. That, that's where paparazzi should draw the line. If someone's like, I don't care what you're saying right now. Stop coming up to me and putting a camera in my face. I'm not answering your question. I feel like that's the first thing to be like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do this. And I should just get the picture and walk away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't try no speaker. Okay. What up, Kyra? You good, you good, you good. That's another thing I see is like bikini or nip slip. It's like you're just taking photos of people with revealing clothing. That's fucking weird. If you were a stranger taking a picture of someone and their, you know, like, side boob came out and you took a picture and sold that, you would get the shit kicked out of you. But the fact that it's a profession that's just legal makes no sense. Like, I don't understand why that's a problem. You know what I mean? You're taking pictures of me. I'm telling you to leave. I'm gonna break your shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's gone. Like, I'm breaking your camera. I feel like that's completely justified in my opinion. Don't hurt the person. Just break their shit. That's just assault. There's nothing like storytelling. There's no questions being asked. They're just assaulting someone, trying to get a rise out of them. And that could have been a fan or someone who's not a fan of Adam Levine, but um, we're gonna watch this next video by Wonderland Ian, which is called Celebrities Handling Paparazzi for 14 Minutes Straight. This is the last video I'm gonna be reacting to before I cut this video. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. So if you guys are still watching, please consider subscribing, turning on post notifications. I would appreciate it so much. YouTube is something I wanna do full time. My, my plan 
is at the end of the year being able to do this full time so that when I move out, um, I don't have to work nine to five. So my, my plan is to really just put everything into this. So if you guys like me or my personality or my reactions to things or these video essays that I'm going to continue doing, please let me know. Give me feedback. Comment down below. Subscribe. Like just conversation. I just want to have a conversation with you guys. Anyway, I'll, I'll get to that after this video starts. But yeah. Come on, Miley. Everybody wants to know the name of your new doggy. You don't know how to read a name tag? <laughs> what is that? Everybody wants to know the name of your new dog, your new puppy, guys. Come on, we're innocent. We just want to know the name of your puppy. That's why we have newscaster cameras in front of your fucking face. Like, here, I'm Miley Cyrus. I wish, but here, I'm Miley, I'm Miley Cyrus. Come on, they just, they just want a picture of your dog. Come on, they want a picture of your dog. Get a picture of your dog. In my opinion, it's just baiting people to be like, hey, I'm a human being. You know, I have human being qualities, and you should respect me because I'm acting like a human being and asking you innocent, pure questions. It's like, no, you're fucking not. What's going on here? How's it going, man? How are you? What's going on here? I'm just, what's going on here? What's going on here? Put that down. What's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you, can you not talk to me? Just for, uh, just for the... What are you doing? Hey, don't do that. Don't do that again. I love Quentin Tarantino's response to paparazzi. It's just like, hey, man, what are you doing? Hey, look at me as a human being. What are you doing? Why are you so aggressive, bro? Huh? Why are you so aggressive? Huh? I feel like running after people is also like a really good thing. I don't know if that is considered assault. I'm, again, I'm just a guy on the internet, but... I just want to live for me. Yeah, no, but it's horrible just to just keep going and following. So I look at my eyes, look at the man. Get back to like a bitch. That one. Eddie Murphy, thank you so fucking much. That, I feel like, is the exact response. It's just like coming up to him and being like, hey, you're a bitch. <laughs> like... Are you truly tall? Oh God! I didn't see you. Don't jaywalk, Jack. Don't jaywalk, Jack. It's still a crime in California. <laughs> what about the grass, Jack? What about the grass? It's impossible to follow me when I go this fast. <laughs> Lady bitch, you're in my I personally love Jack Black's reaction to paparazzi the most because, I don't know, I feel like it brings light and, like, optimism to such a dark and grimy job. I, I really like his ability to find humor in it and just kind of politely tell people, hey, stop bothering me, you know what I mean? And I'm probably gonna end the reaction with that video. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched to the end, please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much and, the, you know, this is what I want to do. I'm gonna do this a lot. You guys will not be, this will not be the last you see of me, so, um, and this will not be the last you see of this series called Stream of Consciousness. It's something I'm really excited about. I thought about it while I was at work. If you guys like this video and the premise of eating warheads while trying to commentate, I would love if you guys, you know, put some comments down below, gave me some feedback, considered subscribing or liking the video, watching my other videos. I make music. Um, I'll put the links in the description for that. I just came out with an album at the beginning of the year called What a Miracle. I'm really proud of it. You know, I, I talked about a lot of things that I feel like a lot of people can relate to in this time. Link is in bio. You guys can look at my music as well as the original videos that I reacted to today. I did a lot of research for this video. I'm going to keep doing these because I actually loved this. This was a really cool um, experience to like research it and, you know, do something new. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me um and consider subscribing and if you want to see more content comment down below what different things you want me to react to or research and talk about um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching bye hey this is editor eli i just finished editing but i forgot to do quote of the day so quote of the day is um if you're pointing a camera you are not famera <laughs> that's so stupid i can't do that one actually no that you know what that's the quote of the day because i can't think of anything else so uh bye guys I'm your dog, I'm your friend, I don't care what you wear, I don't care what you wear, I'm your dog, I'm your dog, I'm your dog, let's eat food, let's get drunk, let's get drunk.